Hello guys, this video is about how we can create PowerShell based APIs in Azure functions. So I have this script handy with me, which can basically take name of subreddit and count as input parameters, run an invoke rest method on those input parameters, structures the data, sort the top results in a descending order and then returns the output to you. Let's run this script and see what output do we get. Like you can see, it basically returned the top subreddit posts in PowerShell. So what I'll do now, I'll copy the complete script and go to my Azure portal. Like you can see here, I have not created any functions app resource as of now. So I'll go ahead and create one. I'll click on create a resource, then go down to compute, and then click on functions app. It will open a blade for me. I'll type in a globally unique app name here. I'll choose an existing resource group. Central India is my location. And I'll also use an existing storage. I'll switch off application insight and pin this to my dashboard for now. Once I hit create, it will take a while to build this functions app and pin it to my dashboard. Once it is complete, it will redirect you to the functions app we have just created. All right, we are good to go now. So if I click on functions here, you'll see there is no results here as of now. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and create a new function. And if you'll just Try to scroll down and up, you'll do, you will not see any PowerShell based HTTP trigger available here. For that, you have to just enable this experimental language support. Now you can see like PowerShell is available. Click on this HTTP trigger. Choose the language. Provide the name for an endpoint. So I'll just type it up Reddit. I'll change authorization level to anonymous and I'll click on create. This will create a default Azure function for me. For now, I only want to create an Azure function which can accept input as a get method. So I'll remove this part of the default script. We have already copied the code, so I'll paste the complete code in here. I'll do little bit of formatting. So by default, Azure functions create variables for you with a name request query underscore and the name of the input parameter which you have passed. So we would be passing name and count. So we would need another variable here, which is request query count. We don't need this line here. So I'll remove that. I think we are good to go and I'll save this. If you try to run this script without any parameter, it will, it will give you 200 OK status, but it won't give you any output here. So what I'll do now, I'll select post method get and provide input parameters name. and count. Let's run it again.
now you can see it gives me some results here so i'll save this Click on get function URL, copy the URL and the endpoint, go back to my code editor and type in invoke test method. As a method, I'll choose get in URI. I'll paste this function URL. I'll pass the name of the subreddit, which is let's suppose in this case is Azure and I want number of top posts to be returned as 5. I'll add some verbose output to this and run this script. And that's all. This is how you can create a serverless API using PowerShell in Azure Functions. Thank you guys.